Lisa, sorry we're late. Not only did we oversleep, but we had some technical difficulties trying to get on and had to reset passwords. And but God is good. Hey, Reg, what's up, my man? We're not going to be on but about 30 minutes, 30, 27 minutes. I know Mother Francine is coming on, and uh, we want to give her that. Bless you, uh, Patricia. Good morning, Rita. My apologies to all. Uh, just we are late. Uh, I um, bless you, Mother Francine. We'll be off in twenty-seven minutes. Just give us twenty-seven minutes. I was going to call out, and then I said, "Well, I guess." 30 minutes is better than no minutes at all. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for this Monday. Yeah, my, I hurt not. I, just, I was working yesterday um, at a, 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 a restaurant and I just kind of hurt my back. Hey, Rob, good morning to you. Oh, um, Patricia, anywhere I find him, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, most times you can find um, these track colors at uh, stores like uh, Dick's Sporting Goods stores, but I've, because they're so expensive, I go, I'll find them anywhere, consignment stores, anywhere I find them, I'll just grab them. Bless you. Good morning. Bless you, Rita. Again, my apologies. Can we just get right in? Father, we thank you this morning. This is the day that you have made and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. We honor you for your presence, Lord. We thank you just for your loving us and keeping us, Lord God. Father, on this Monday morning and as we start out this week, Lord, um, we give it to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord God, for loving us. We thank you, Lord God, for waking us up. You are our strength. Hallelujah. Strength like none other that reaches to me and to all of those that are under the sound of my voice. Lord, have your way in the name of Jesus. Bless us this morning. Hallelujah, in this time that we are together. Lord God, speak to us, build us up by your spirit, edify your people, and also uh, ultimately cause your name to be glorified and the works of the enemy to be nullified in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good morning, Elsie Mason. Good morning to you. Um, Amen to all the saints of God. Listen, Mother Francine started out. Let's just get those scripture showers in. Hallelujah for those that are with us. Um, Psalms 1 and 3. Whatsoever I do shall prosper, for I am a tree planted by rivers of water. Hey, Tawana, bless you and good morning to you. Bless you, Gloria Green. Amen. Well, listen, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, this week, we're coming back. I, I got um, Reggie. Um, I'm sorry. Um, Jesse. Jesse uh, Gonzalez Jr. But also got another special guest coming in uh, this week. And they're going to bless us. And, you know, I went to I went to um, hang out. I was in Cary yesterday with with uh, Apostle Nix. And um, man, I I, um, I was blessed by the word of God um, yesterday. And um, he was talking about uh, uh, how debt 
is a hostile enemy. Amen. Debt is a hostile enemy. And um, we are going to uh, be on um, the Senior Power Hour on tomorrow with uh, Pastor Betty Burl Walker. Amen. Bless you, Marjorie. Amen. So we're going to be on there and we're, we're going to be uh, sharing on that subject matter, how dead is our enemy. And it, you know what's what's interesting, um, uh, Rob and to all uh, Reg, um, there are a couple of groups that are um, forming these men's groups that are forming um, to help us to conquer debt. I know some of the women are saying, I need that for myself. Amen. But one of the things I'm realizing is that if we can, if we can, um, God is going, God is doing something. He is doing something, something, something. Amen. And so we honor God for uh, what he's doing. And, and um, amen. I, I, I believe that if we could just get more men uh, saved and um, I, and and I just believe that this is going to be a way uh, that God is going to reach a lot of men because um, he's just going to make he's going to do it amen I think that if you can save a man you can save a family if you save a family you're going to save a community if you save a community you can actually save a city Amen. And, and then if you can save a city, you can save a state. And if you can save a state, you can save a nation. Hallelujah. Bless you, Linda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bunny Torres, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Glory to God. I like that because it's reminding us, we talked about let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Uh, uh, we read that scripture yesterday. And um, David learned he said i'm gonna bless the lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth not just when things are good amen but even during the times of struggle the times of testing amen i promise you that the weapons of our warfare they're not carnal but they're mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds and 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 so part of our arsenal is our weapon our weaponry amen Thank you, Lord. Our praise. Uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29, God's plans for us. Aren't you glad that his plans are higher than our plans? His ways are higher than our ways. Amen. And so we honor God for uh, the plans of God towards us. I don't care what it looks like. If you can keep faith, God, amen, will answer your prayers. Amen. He knows. He knows bigger than and better than us. His plans for us. Hallelujah. Good morning, Simone. Bless you and good morning to you. Come on, if you need strength this morning, strength like none other that reaches to me, they that wait upon the Lord. Uh, Jesse, uh, Minister Jesse uh, Jr., he was, he was uh, saying, listen, listen, there is a place of rest. Amen. There is a place, the Bible says, he that dwelleth in the secret place. Hallelujah. There is a place in God, 
and um, we used to sing that song in the word of God I have a hiding place uh, that we can we can go and we can totally put our trust in the Lord and rest in him and and that's what his his desire is for us he said come unto me all ye that labor and I will give you rest good morning Carmen bless you bless you Pat Wilder amen come on this week I don't know what's going on in your life but we just want to make sure that we enter into the rest of God hallelujah hallelujah Proverbs 12 28 in my pathway is life and there is no death James 1 25 I am a doer of the Word of God and I am blessed in my deeds hallelujah glory strength like none other you got to receive it beloved you got to put your request in amen for the strength of God hallelujah good to see you Kim been missing you in the fullness of your power in the power of your name glory good morning Elsie good morning Jesse Again, my apologies. We we started a little late. Man, I'm telling you, I was exhausted uh, just from work yesterday. And then I, I can't stand it because for whatever reason, uh, when I get on, uh, it I have to reset my whole internet for some reason. But the devil is a lie, Mother Francine. <laughs> Listen, we uh, bless you, Kim. We um, are here. Thank you, Jesus. Kim, one day we're gonna just um, we need to get you on just to just to be able to just uh, minister and lift up uh, the saints, man. Just to minister in song and just let the Lord use you. Amen. Uh, Amen. I want to get Karen Kennerly uh, on as well to uh, just minister. Maybe that will be a day we can let you guys tag team off of each other. One of the things, beloved, that um, we, I believe God is doing in this season is that he is promoting the body ministry. And um, that's why we got Jesse Jr. coming on. We got uh, Jesse Sr. coming on. And um, hey, Jess. Hey, man, can't wait until Wednesday. And um, we are um, promoting uh, just body ministry. I mean, I, 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 I've done this for years and years. And um, I asked the Lord, he was like, listen, I need I need to have different expressions of the body. To be represented and so um amen amen and amen thank god for overseer sharad and all of his guests thank god for mother francine sims gates and her guests and thank god for all of those who uh just take time set apostle seth nix and different ones amen we can um we can uh, just bring up different expressions uh, and 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 hear God, Amen. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about uh, just what God is doing in this season, Amen. Hallelujah. Oh man, y'all got to hear, and um, I haven't had Pat Wilder on in a while, uh, but we need to get her. Um, up and running amen uh, Pat I told you can paint Pat Pat Wilder can paint pray the uh, paint off of walls and then pray wallpaper back up <laughs> hallelujah good morning Rita hallelujah 
as we get closer to Resurrection Sunday, amen, um, we're going to um, bring it in more, more um, folk, amen, and, and I'm, I'm just believing God, he, he can, he wants to speak to us, amen, through the body of Christ, he wants to speak to us through the body of Christ, amen, and so we, we are excited, we're excited, we're excited. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bring on these scripture showers. Father, we thank you for strength this morning. Strength, strength, strength. Amen. Come on, strength for the journey. Strength, amen, for the for the week. Hallelujah. Come on, ask him, ask him. The Bible says, for these things, you're going to have to put a claim in. You're going to have to ask him for it. And it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto us. God is looking for um, faith in the earth. And, and so um, as we are in this journey, just because you're saved, things, some things you just have to ask for it. Some things you have to seek it out. And... Um, we trust God that this whole week we committed to him every broadcast father every time we come together Lord I, I pray that we're not coming together um, in in just routine and religious but every time we come together we have an expectation there has to be a, an expectation when 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 the woman with the issue of blood when she touched the hem of his garment she said listen her faith pulled on him the bible says that her faith tapped in <clears throat> to the virtue of god her faith every time we come together beloved it you're you're it's 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 more than just being an observer um the bible says that the soul that is hungry and thirsty for righteousness shall be fed and as we pull on his, his, his strength, amen, as you need it. Matter of fact, I always think of when a woman um, with child is lactating um, because that they hear the cry of that baby. And, the, and the, uh, the Bible says, out of the mouths of babes and sucklings have I ordained strength. They are insatiable. They cannot, they will not settle amen when they are hungry if you want to get a baby to scream and holla amen until they get that milk amen and 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 i really believe that there's a lesson in there for us as we cry out for god as we become desperate for him hallelujah as the deer panted for the waters our souls long for the true and living god and so we long for you, Lord God. We, we desire you. It's real easy to get in a slump. It's real easy to get in a, uh, to get in a, uh, a rut. It's real easy sometimes, you know, beloved, we just, we get comfortable. And the Bible says in, in Revelations that uh, to the Laodicean church, he said that I wish that you were hot or cold hallelujah I wish that you were hot or cold amen um, but to be lukewarm to be complacent to be um, a man um, just uh, cool and 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 he said I, I I wish that you were hot or you were cold Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I'm gonna I'm gonna spit you out of my mouth. You know, but it said in the I think it's the King James Version. Good morning, um, Pastor Kamani Davis. I see you there. We honor you, sir, and, and um, acknowledge you. Hallelujah. But the soul that is hungry and thirsty for righteousness shall be filled. Bless you, Rodney Powell. See you, sir. 
said, Lord, I seek your strength, guidance, protection, and breakthrough in this tough season of my life. Jesus, I thank you. And I'm gonna tell you, keep looking up, amen. And 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 I just believe, amen, that um, as we continue to just look up and look forward, God will meet us. Amen. God will God will meet us as we look up to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help comes from the Lord. You got to make it personal, beloved. My help, all of my help comes from the Lord. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Listen, I know he's all of our shepherd. But this morning, I need him to, as my shepherd. Amen. My shepherd, I shall not want. Hallelujah. I shall not want. Your word says it, Lord. I believe um, there's a uh, there's a uh, scripture keys book by June Newman Davis, and uh, she every morning, every time she applies that word, because we got to apply the word. It's it's not enough to just Margie. It's not enough for us to just um, remember the word of God, but we got to apply it. It's not just enough. Sometimes you get a you get a a, a, a the doctor will prescribe a um, prescription, um, or if you got some allergies, and then you take this, they will prescribe an ointment, and and it's not just enough to leave it in the bottle, amen. But you got to open it up, and then you got to uh, uh, apply it, amen, for it to work. And likewise, bless you, Vanessa Hardwick. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. We got to apply it. And so, Kim, one of the ways that they apply the word of God is in this book, um, Scripture Keys for Kingdom Living. They would tell, they would, they were, anytime they would apply it, they would apply it three different ways all throughout the day. The Bible says if you make it your meditation, you know, you're going to make your way prosperous. Listen, we got to study to show ourselves approved unto God. And so what June Newman uh, Davis in the prophecy, she would thank God, number one, thank God for the word of God. Thank him for the promise of God. She would say, Lord, thank you because your word says I'm healed by your stripes. Amen. Isaiah 53 and 5. It's by I was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities chastisement of our pieces upon him and 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 um, by his stripes i'm healed we got to search out this word whatever your needs are this morning you got to find a word that's going to apply to it and so if there's a need for healing or if there's a need for strength amen isaiah 40 and 31 says they that wait upon the lord those that are in complete uh, surrender and waiting on the lord Amen. And I'm going to tell you something else. We're going to be talking about it um, this week. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Um, uh, Pharrell. Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about it this week at some point. But saints, we, we pray. We pray that God will take things away. And we pray to God, but we don't know how to release Sometimes some of us learn we need to learn how Lord teach us to pray and teach us while we're praying to learn how to receive that word and then learn teach us how to release the things that we are laying aside lay aside every weight and the sin lay aside those things that are weighty um, as, and, and that God never intended for us to carry amen the sin and 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 the weights we got to lay it down we got to take our burdens to the lord and leave them there and we got to learn how to release i thought man when i heard that we don't know how to rest we get we take our prayers to god and 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 we get back up with them Listen, we got to get to the place like Jesus. We leave it all at the altar. We leave it all on the altar. Amen. 
and 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 don't get up until you have a complete release in your spirit hallelujah who was that that said i'm not gonna move until you bless me i'm not gonna let you go until you bless me hallelujah glory to god hallelujah thank you jesus Like I said in the book, um, Scripture Keys for Kingdom Living, number one, they tell God, God, I thank you for your word. Then number two, they talk to themselves and they, they, you know, you got to plant that word down in your heart. You got to get it in your heart. You got to plant it, apply it. Uh, and, and, and it's not just enough to say it one time, to name it, claim it and blab it and grab it. No. You got to apply that word and then you got to um, ingest it. You know, the Bible talks about like a cow, a cow would ingest that word. It will meditate on it. It will chew on it. It will regurgitate it. It will chew on it some more. It will regurgitate it and chew it on some more. Amen. You put God in remembrance of his word and then uh, uh, make it your meditation morning and i ended up almost missing monday anyhow i said see y'all on wednesday because i'm so excited about wednesday and um end up um just not coming on till later this morning amen but um that's neither here nor there um and then thirdly i'm talking about how to apply this word of god we have to um tell the enemy let me tell you, when Jesus was in the wilderness, and this is Jesus, the Son of God, amen. If he had to say, it is written to the enemy, amen. Sometimes we got to remind ourselves, but you also need to use it because the Bible says that the weapons that we have uh, is the word of God and the, the shield of faith, which is made up of the word of God and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Amen. And so after you have done everything you know to do, sometimes you need to talk to that enemy and say, listen, it's written. It is written. It is written. It is written. Back up because it's written. You're a defeated foe. And because it's written, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. No weapon formed against me shall prosper every tongue that rises up against me in judgment back up take your hands off my children because it's written hallelujah how do we apply that word of god number one we thank him for the promise of his word number two we talk to ourselves and say listen i received that word in my body for his healing, for his peace, for his joy. Amen. And thirdly, we tell that enemy, it's written. Back up. You don't have any authority. You're already defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard, I heard, I heard uh, uh, a word that said that uh, Jesse Jr. I, that said that, um, that, that sin has been defeated. Um, now we need to defeat debt. We need to defeat debt. Man, one of God's plans for his people is that we are, we are, um, uh, listen, he conquered debt is such a small feat for God. All things are impossible to them that believe. And, 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 uh, just the, 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 uh, living in poverty. See, you can, you can have little money, but not have a poverty mentality. I believe that God is trying to deliver us from a poverty mentality. He's trying to deliver us from a poverty mentality. Amen. And give us kingdom mentality. See, we don't, we don't, we don't, it, it's not all about being rich and, and wealthy, but it is about having the best of God that he wants to offer you. His plans for us are for good and not for evil. 
and he wants us to have a kingdom mentality. The scripture reference for that is in um, uh, Romans 12, amen. In verse two, he said, and not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We got to get our minds renewed, Margie. We got to get our minds renewed, Kim. We got to get our minds renewed, Mally. Good morning to you. And um, we got to get our minds renewed. And so God, there's a, there's a kingdom. The Bible said, don't forget your benefits, who healeth all your diseases and forgives all your iniquities. Amen. God, give us a kingdom mindset. Elevate us, our minds, God. Cause us, oh God, to think kingdom. Lord, not our will, but your will. Not our way, but your way. Not our kingdom, but your kingdom come and your will be done let this mind be in us hallelujah bless you constance that was also in christ jesus i'm gonna tell y'all the battle is in the mind the battle this this battle that we struggle with it may manifest in different ways but it starts out in the mind and if we can get our mind right if we can get our thoughts together, as a man thinketh, so is he. Whatever our meditation is, is gonna determine our confession, amen? Whatever our meditation is, if we're constantly meditating on negative things, then eventually it's going to come out of our mouth. God forbid if you could get, if we, if we, we're in negative and then our, our, our thoughts and then our confession and then as we speak it because we've been created in the image of God. And so he said in the beginning, he said, and our, 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 we have that same ability. That's why when we speak death over people, we are aligning ourselves with the enemy. When we're talking about people, we got to be careful. Hallelujah. Do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourself what the will of God is, that um, which is good and acceptable and perfect. Hallelujah. Glory to God in his plan and purpose for you. God, change our minds, change our thoughts, elevate it. I'm gonna tell you, it is a constant process of of renewal and and uh if you ever stop working on your mind is when the weeds start to grow if you ever stop working on your mind that's when the soil gets hard if you ever stop working on the mind amen the bible said break up the fallow ground god search me see if there's anything in me lord blot out my transgressions created me a clean heart renew a right spirit. Anytime Adam was told you're going to work on this soil, anytime we stop working on the soil, beloved, is when the weeds, when the, when the, uh, the, uh, tear, you know, when, 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 when the, the enemy never stops sowing. And so we're always in constant maintenance mode. We're always pat in maintenance mode. Hallelujah. Constantly, constantly searching for weeds and thistles and thorns and amen. Making sure we're not carrying the cares of this world. Making sure we got to check our heart. Amen. If the soil is hardened because of the root of bitterness, it'll, it'll, it'll mess us up. Amen. Well, listen, Mother Francine is on and, uh, we just want to uh, out of that space, and I know we got on late, so our apologies, Amen. But let's let's continue to press in, press in, 
press in. Um, I'm hoping to get Ebony Jackson on with us this week. Um, and uh, my goddaughter. And we are excited about what God is doing. Amen. Love you guys. Love you guys. Amen. Let's remember to apply that word this week, this Monday. Come on, get that word in. Plan to uh, apply the word. Plan it. Amen. Build it in your schedule. Build a, a schedule, a vision. Amen. And um, get you a vision board and a planning board and incorporate the word of God. Remember to tell God thank you as we apply his word. Remember to apply that word in your own heart. And then remember when the enemy tries to come in, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. So you begin to just remind him. So I rebuke you because the word, it is written. Anything that the enemy has to say to us is a lie. Hallelujah. If he's telling you this, that, and the other, and you know it ain't God, you can remind the enemy and say, you a liar because his word says this. It is written. His word said. Hallelujah. Glory, grace, and peace be multiplied unto you from God our Father and the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ. Many are the plans in the mind of men, but it's the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Thank you for that, Anna. Hallelujah. Pharrell Hill Richardson, thank God for his healing. Elder Jason, bless you, sir. Amen. Listen, for those, we're going to be on uh, Tuesday afternoon on the Senior Power Hour. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. You guys pray for us. Amen. Hopefully we see you on there. We're going to break the... Lord, we, we just, we, listen, come in, I don't, no spectators, only those that are hungry, no spectators, amen, the gospel is not a spectator sport, hallelujah, matter of fact, well, we're just going to trust God, amen, love you guys, grace and peace. <laughs>